The foundational aspects of all of the standing poses are taught here in the most basic standing pose, Tadasana. So you want to place your feet together. That means the big toes, the mound of the big toes, and your inner heels should all touch the mounds of the foot. This is the mound of the big toe. And these are the mounds of the foot, or the ball of the foot. The mound of the big toe, the mound of the small toe. So the mounds of the foot are not the toe itself. The mounds are the mound. Now there are exceptions to that. So if you're someone who has balance problems or if you're pregnant, you can bring your feet hips distance apart. However, in all other cases, feet are together. And there are other issues. I know there's bunions, there's knock knees. We'll get to all that stuff later. But in general, feet should be together. Once the feet are together, then we have to activate the feet. So to do that, you lift the toes and you spread from the mound of the big toe to mound of the small toe. Now, we've gotten that spreading. Now you bend the knees and bring the toes to the ground. However, once the toes are down, the effort of spreading the mounds of the foot remains. Keep that spreading and begin to lift through your kneecaps. So this region right here, hopefully I can get my knees to undo. Watch, I'm gonna lift up. I lift the kneecaps. So this region here at the upper kneecap, bottom of my quadriceps, is engaged. This is tightening the knees. You tighten the knees with the muscles. It's different than, let me undo, than just slamming the knees back. That is a non-action. There are no muscles engaged. Instead, you throw the joint back and you hang in the joint, and it's not a healthy action. When that happens, you're just pushing back from here, the lower kneecap, and that's a lock of your knee. So to engage the legs, properly, bend the knees a bit, spread through the mounds of the foot and put the toes down. Keep that spreading and pull your kneecaps up so that you'll feel this little grip here at the top of the knees. And at first, it'll feel like you're sort of dancing with a straight leg, but you want to feel that. You want to feel that tightening, that grip of the musculature, which creates a vibrancy in the legs. Then once I lift up through my knees and I grip there, that region of the lower quadricep, then I have the ability to move my front thighs back. The front thighs move towards the back thighs. Then as you look forward, bear weight on the center heel bone. The center heel bone, this whole region here, evenly on both feet should bear weight. Bear weight on the center heel bone as you descend the top buttock towards the heels. Now, all those things should be happening in concert. The spreading of the mounds of the foot and the toes, the lift of the kneecap so the front thigh moves back, the heel bones down and the buttock descends to the heel bones. Then, as you look forward, balance the weight between the mounds of the foot and the two heels, keeping all that vibrancy from before. Roll the shoulders back, and as you straighten the arms, turn the palms to face the body, and stand in Tadasana. So that's the basic, most foundational aspects of Tadasana. There's many other videos on Tadasana to continue learning the rest of the pose, as well as to address certain issues with the knees and the feet and the arms. So keep watching, keep learning, keep practicing.